Hi guys, me World Adventure 100. Uh, I'm sorry about this, but um, this is a part three, an unexpected part three at that. Of um, look around my uh, my new ridge tent. Uh, I finally found out what the problem was when I um, erected it. I didn't tension these poles correctly, and the sides were too slack. And now, as you can see, the sides have gone up as they should do, and the tent is completely stable without its fly sheet. So now. If you also look inside, the ground sheet is doing as it should and coming up at the front. And that's better because now you can see the real expanse of space that's actually inside. This is what the tent should be like. Not the way I had it. Yeah, that's better. Look, the sides are properly up. You can see all the seams are exposed and everything. That's how it should be. <laughs> So, as I said, this is t a fairly new tent to me, so uh, you learn something new every time you put it up, which is why I make sure I put it up at least twice before I take it out anywhere. So now you can see if you do the fly sheet and... Sorry, I'm just... The stiff is quite old. Now you can see if you do the door up, it's nice and neatly up, nice and tidy, covers up the seams. Down there, you can tie on there like that. So yeah, I um the outer this I believe is waterproof. That's how small the fly folds too, which is amazing because you could just use that look. That's pretty much it, and I'm pretty sure that will even roll up a bit smaller. That's pretty much my foot size, and that, that weighs nothing. I could literally, if I had a bigger pocket, that could fit in my pocket, and I could carry that around all day, and uh, not be affected by it, so. Tent is really rigid and strong, just like this. Um, I'm not sure whether this tent originally came with poles or not. I'm judging it not, because usually, on the fly sheet, or on any other tent, they usually have smaller holes, but this had a larger hole. So I'll skip about you soon guys, the batch is dying, so see you soon.